13 Exercise and Weight Loss Tips for a Flat Stomach There's nothing worse than having a nice outfit you'd like to wear, but not being able to zip it up because you're too bloated. And though sometimes the culprit is obvious, remember eating burritos, french fries, burgers, ice cream? Other causes are not as apparent. If you are someone who is having difficulty figuring out how to achieve weight loss and get rid of that bloating, stop worrying. We all may have different bodies, but we all want to be our healthiest and look our best. When you have areas that you might feel have excess fat, that may cause those areas to look slightly bigger. Men and women experience different parts that they feel store the most excessive fat. For women, those problem areas are usually their thighs, buttocks, arms, and you guessed it, stomach. Have no fear. We're here to help you out with weight loss tips and exercises on how to get rid of that belly bloat. Now, keep watching for things you should avoid doing or start doing to avoid getting bloated throughout the day. Plus, five exercises you can do to get rid of your most stubborn fat. Before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Number 13. Eat more potassium. Consuming a lot of salt is bad for you. However, if you eat just potassium-rich foods, think asparagus, citrus fruits, melons, tomatoes, bananas, it counters some of the side effects of salt. All it takes is a slight adjustment in your diet plan. Try to avoid junk foods like fast food and chips. While those types of foods are okay once in a while as snacks, you should only eat them in moderation. They are high in calories and very low in nutrition and could be what is contributing to your belly bloat. So eat more potassium to get that flat stomach you're dying for. Number 12. Drink eight glasses of liquid every day. Water helps flush waste out of your system and it keeps your digestive system going. Coffee is also good as long as it's black as it has an added bonus of contracting your colon, helping you go. Try to drink water as soon as you wake up every morning and keep a water bottle handy on you all day. Make sure you cut out carbonated, sugary drinks from your diet plan as well. These types of drinks are only empty calories and should be replaced with water. Number 11. Drink peppermint tea. According to Health Magazine, tea helps alleviate gas by relaxing the digestive tract and boosting normal peristalsis. Number 10. Don't eat too fast. Eating quickly can cause air swallowing, which leads to bloating. Keep in mind that digestion starts in the mouth and chewing your food more can go a long way in this department. If you really want that flat stomach and want to avoid belly bloating, try slowing down when you eat. Number nine, stop drinking carbonated drinks. As we mentioned earlier in this video, you should cut out all carbonated drinks from your diet plan. The gas in these drinks, even diet ones, traps gas in your belly, resulting in belly bloat. Replace them with flavored water using lemon, lime, or cucumber. It's for your own good. Number eight, stop chewing gum. This leads to air swallowing, which can cause bloating. If you have the need to be chewing something, try sucking on a piece of hard candy or eat lower fat popcorn. Number seven, get in the habit of reading food labels. When buying processed, canned, or frozen foods, make sure there's no more than 500 milligrams of sodium per serving. Eating a lot of sodium is a good recipe to get bloated. Number six, stop it before it starts. Weight loss isn't easy, especially if you've developed poor eating habits that are hard to kick. Get rid of that belly bloating by ditching these bad habits. Cutting excess salt can go a long way when it comes to bloating. Drinking three liters of water a day also helps when avoiding excess salt to prevent water retention. Now that you know the habits to take up and avoid as well as the types of foods you should eat, here are some exercises to get rid of the fat in more frustrating areas of your body. Fat loss isn't easy, 
but keep watching for some weight loss tips on how to achieve these weight loss goals. Number five, dumbbell floor press. The first exercise that you can do to help out frustrating areas like your arms and back is the dumbbell floor press. According to Women's Fitness, this exercise is a pure upper body movement, allowing you to press some heavy weights without hurting your shoulders or back. The site notes that all you have to do is lie on your back on the floor and push up the dumbbells so your arms go directly over your shoulders. Women's Fitness also notes that pressing one arm at a time will increase the core demands of the exercise, as you have to brace to keep your torso ready. Before we get into the next exercise, it is important to realize that everyone experiences those annoying folds of skin between your arm and your breast. So, if you feel like you are the only one that struggles, don't, it's super common. According to Women's Health Magazine, all of us store weight in certain places based on our genetics. So if you're trying to lose a little from a certain spot, you need to focus on losing overall body fat. The magazine continues by noting that your diet plan has a huge role in all of this. So although these exercises can help you gain muscle and achieve fat loss, if you are eating fattening food, these exercises won't help. Women's Health writes that you need to make it a point to take in less calories than you are expending overall, not just via exercise. Number four, staggering push-ups. Shape.com is a fitness site and they've released a 30-day challenge hit workout. One of the exercises they've included is the staggered push-up and that's the exercise that'll help you with underarm and breast side fat. The site notes that unlike regular push-ups, with these, you have to have one hand slightly back and the other hand slightly in front of you. Then, do the push-up. As previously mentioned, you can be working out as hard as ever, but if you aren't eating the right foods, you won't see the results you want. According to Live Strong, the best pre- and post-training meals for most exercises typically have a combo of high-quality protein, high-quality carbohydrates, healthy fats, and some fruits and veggies. But everybody's body is different, so you need to find out what works for you and your lifestyle. Number 3. Dumbbell Floor Fly To perform this exercise, you must keep your back straight, lean forward, and bring the weights together in front of you until your arms form a circle. Livestrong notes that any form of standing dumbbell training works a lot of muscles in your upper body, but form is very crucial. The site notes that having poor form can cause shoulder impingement. Number two, dumbbell rows. They are noted by muscleandfitness.com to be the most basic exercise that strengthens the back, shoulders, and biceps while actively engaging the core throughout this movement. The site also notes that dumbbells are a crucial aspect for this exercise, as well as all other ones, because they not only create muscle, they create balance and stability on both sides of the body. Don't be afraid to lift and create muscles. It'll create such a difference. Number one, dips. According to Livestrong.com, dips are exercises that go a long way for annoying, flabby areas of your body. They write, dips are intense and effective isolation exercises that help develop powerful and defined triceps. They're also exercises that you can do just about anywhere. That's why the last exercise on this list is the bench dip. Just position your hands shoulder width apart on a bench or a chair with your legs straight out in front of you. Simply move up and down with a pause at the bottom. So there you have it. Weight loss tips to get a flat stomach and exercises to help you get rid of fat. And remember, if you wanna lose weight, you should have a good, well-balanced diet as well as an exercise plan to help you burn calories. Today, it's not so much about being skinny, rather social media and society in general like to promote a healthy body. Though dieting is a big part of that, exercising has a huge role in this as well. 
By eating the right foods and doing the right activities and exercises, you can achieve that weight loss and transform your body. Now get at it. Now that you know some ways to get rid of that pesky bloat and also some exercises that can get rid of some of the more stubborn areas of your body, let us know what works for you. And if you have any other exercises or ways you find help with fat loss, let us know in the comment section below. Did you enjoy this video? That's great. Hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.